जय श्री गुरुदेव गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू ऑल टू बी जी एस यू कॉलेज कोला एंड माई सेल्फ इज नंदेश आई एम यूर केमिस्ट्री लेक्चर नाउ इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द ब्रिज कोर्स ओके वुड इज मीन बाय ब्रिज कोर्स इट इज द ब्रिज बिटवीन यूर लोअर क्लासेस एंड यूर पी यू क्लासेस ओके दैट वी कॉल ब्रिज कोर्स and you know you all are joining to the science right so now we should know what is the meaning of science and how it is we learn and how many branches are there in science okay now before knowing to chemistry we should learn science first okay students now science so what is mean by science science is a systematic study of nature okay science is a it is a systematic study of of what nature science is a systematic study of nature andre nature ali yenenu kriya galu nadiyutho process is the happening in nature to understand all those uh, there is a systematic way that we call it as what science okay it is study of nature you know the nature is a huge one so to understand all the concepts that will be happening in the nature the science can be classified into different branches like uh, physics chemistry biology and so on now to understand all these branches the basic one is mathematics so that all these we called as means all these subjects are branches we called as what science now after knowing the definition of science let take up chemistry because as we are uh, learning chemistry in this class take chemistry okay so in this class we are learning the definition of chemistry and how it is origin and where it is origin what is the need means benefits okay and everything about uh, the subject chemistry okay so basically this chemistry is origin in egypt in egypt some peoples are doing to convert metals like iron copper silver and so on to the gold those peoples we named as alchemist from that word the chemistry is origins okay so en madidante egypt alli you know uh, egypt in egypt andre egypt nalli kelavondu jenru en martaru andre iron agirbodu andre kabbina agirbodu ತಾಮ್ರ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಲ್ಯೂಮಿನಿಯಂ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಈ ತರ ಮೆಟಲ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆಗಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಅವನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಅವನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಹೆಸರಿಟ್ಟು ಏನಂತಾರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆಲ್ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೀತಾರೆ ಆಲ್ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾನು ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಆ ಪದದಿಂದ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಅನ್ನೋ ವರ್ಡ್ ಅಂದು ಆರಿಜಿನ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆರಿಜಿನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಫೈನ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಬ್ರಾಂಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ chemistry is a branch of science which deals about the, the properties structure and composition of matter okay it is a branch of science you know this is a branch of science which deals which deals study of structure comma properties and composition of matter composition of matter is called as what chemistry okay it is a branch of science which deals study which means it deals about the structure properties and composition of what matter is called as what chemistry 
Okay, so now what is mean by matter? You know the structure, definition of chemistry and how it is origin. Now what is mean by matter? Okay, so before knowing matter, you should know what is the need of chemistry, where it is observed in our daily life. Okay, so listen, in our, in our daily life, we are taking water every day, right? That water is made by H2. That water is made by water, H2. And this water is the main component containing H2. Then I H2 on the unit. So here, it having two elements, one is hydrogen and one more is oxygen. These two are present well in the periodic table. Okay, and similarly, uh, in our breathing, we are inhaling and exhaling gases, right? Which gas we are inhaling? Oxygen. Okay, in breathing, we are inhaling oxygen gas and we are exhaling carbon dioxide gas, right? This oxygen containing two oxygen atoms. And this carbon dioxide containing one carbon atom and two oxygen atom. One carbon atom, two oxygen atom. Here, it contains two hydrogen atom and one oxygen atom. All these elements are present in periodic table. Right. To study of these, called as what? Chemistry. Okay. These are all present in our body and we are using every day. Right. Similarly, we are taking food every day, right? That food containing carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, fatty acids and so on. All these are made by elements of carbon or some other elements. Even the carbon in the other elements which are present in the periodic table. Periodic table and even the elements to the marita. Similarly, uh, by the help of chemistry, we can prepare uh, medicines like uh, lotions, creams, ointments, drugs, tablets, and also pesticides, okay, and also fertilizers, so on. These all are made by made by elements which are coming under where chemistry. Okay, so now chemistry in the environment is uh, Drugs are bodu, medicines are bodu, creams, lotions are bodu, rather comparatively, pesticides are bodu, fertilizers, fertilizers are comparatively pesticides are how shady value is there? Our nearly nine months are even chemistry is there, man, that even our glass, this glass are made by polymers or polyesters, you know, are bodu, cotton, kedi kello, but they are by madam, that is cotton, that is kedi thi cotton, but they are polyester, but they are polyethylene, kodi. All these are made by what? Long chain carbons. Even in the end, we have long chain carbon in the middle. Okay, so every day use use the cream, the lotion, the even the drugs, the dyes, the paints, varnishes, glass, fiber. Everything is made by elements. Even in the end, we have to use the elements in the middle. Therefore, the chemistry plays a major role in our dye life. Okay, the chemistry This is the what importance of chemistry. Now we are going to the study of matter. Okay, so matter is nothing but anything that has mass and occupies space is called as what? Matter. Matter is nothing but anything. Anything that has mass and occupy space is called as what? Matter. Matter is nothing but anything that has mass and occupy space is called as matter. For example, take a chalk. And duster, duster, and pen, and book, so on. Anything that has mass and occupy space is called as what? Matter and reno, yene a hagir bodu, and the mass and the reco, mass, two kayadeko, then occupy space. 
ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಜಾಗವನ್ನು ಆಕ್ರಮಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳಬೇಕು ಅದನ್ನು ಏನಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ನೋಡಿ ಚಾಕ್ ತಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಡಸ್ಟ ಪೆನ್ ಬುಕ್ ಬೆಂಚ್ ಈವನ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಕ್ಯುಪೈ ಸಮ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ತೂಕ ಇರಬೇಕು ಮತ್ತೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಜಾಗವನ್ನು ಆಕ್ರಮಿಸ್ಕೊತಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಏನಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಚಾಪೀಸ್ ಡಸ್ಟ್ ಪೆನ್ ಬುಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಆನ್ ನೌ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಬೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ನೇಚರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಬೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಸೊ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ನೇಚರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಓಕೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಿಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಬೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ನೇಚರ್ chemical nature okay so first of all we are learning the classification of matter and the physical nature and the basis of physical nature it is classified into solid that you learn in your know your classes i thought that okay it's classified into three different types there is solids liquids and gases okay these are the three different types of matter on the basis of physical nature physical nature andre andre bhautika guna lakshana gala mele nave em martidivi matter na three types alli classify martidivi that is solid liquid and gases similarly on the basis of chemical nature this matter can be classified into again three types those are elements elements then second one compounds and the third one is a mixture mixture these are the three different types of matter and base of chemical nature okay now take the first one solids okay what is mean by solids solids are these substances in which the particles are arranged very closely very closely it means very clumsy without free space if we have space that will be very less and the solids and you know solids and the substance it has mass and occupy space in which the particles are arranged very closely it means very clumsy either it may have space or not if we must be jaga irbodu athwa indira irbodu therefore it has a high density high density and less volume in it the high density is the kadame volume artha idella kavu that is solids why because particles are very close and they have a definite shape definite shape at the idella the next one liquids so liquids are the substance in which the particles are be loosely bonded loosely bonded particles in agirutte so it will lose and be bound agirutte okay liquids are the substance in which particles are loosely bonded between these particles there is a space ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮತ್ತೆ ಏನಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅವುಗಳ ಏನಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ದೇ ಫೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಹೈ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಹೈ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಈಗ ಏನಿರುತ್ತೆ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೆಸ್ ಡೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಲೆಸ್ ಡೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ ಶೇಪ್ ನೋ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ ಶೇಪ್ no definite shape shape you will love it definite shape however the liquids has shape in which where we are pouring now any it is the liquids and now other shape and a part kondi rutte artha it is liquids they are coming to the gases so gases are the substances are the matter 
in which the particles are arranged with the large distance. Large distance. Gases are arranged there. Particles are arranged in the distance. Okay. There is a large distance between the particles. Hence, the particles will be collide each other randomly. In the particles are arranged in the collide collision after the one that would be decoded as the gases. And the gases has high compressibility. Gases gain a yute, tumba compressible yute, and then just the press mud gases gain. So then, uh, when we are putting hair in the balloon, we can compress easily. Now, balloon a little gas in a film under the gun, tumba aramaki compress mud both than So that gases has high compressibility. Okay, so that having less density. Gases gain a yute. Kadame density with them. And then it is high volume with them. This gas is having high volume. And no shape. Shape is not. However, these gases are in high compressibility. Gases are in high compressibility with them. High compressibility. Okay, once at the which one having high compressibility among the following? Here the kilogram is among the following. Among the following, which one having which one having high compressibility? High compressibility. If there are question, the options are solids and liquids, C gas and T both B and C at the kidney. Both B and C. So reason which one has high compressibility? Gases only are having high compressibility, high compressibility, remember. For both liquids and gases is there, but the gases only having high compressibility. Liquids and the gases get up to the compressibility nature though. Hathre, tumba jasi no the other key gases mark up. The key gases and the other right option. The CET needle carry the right question. Then answer the CET carry. Okay, this is the the uh, classification of matter and the properties these are the properties of what solid liquid and gases okay so these are the some basic concepts or uh, bridge courses that you already learn in your lower classes and you will be learning your pu level okay so in next class we will learn uh, classification of matter on the basis of chemical nature that is what is mean by elements and compost and mixture. Okay, you will learn next class.